Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute and I'm super happy to be back. I am coming out of my um, hibernation to film a video I'm super pumped about and that is my perfect travel bags. I know it's so weird, but like as a traveler, I've been traveling for two and a half years straight now and I haven't found the perfect bags to travel with me and I have cracked the code and I'm thrilled. For the people that are like, I don't care, it'll hear your whole spiel about it. Uh, too long than a watch. I have the Away Medium, the Osprey Sojourn 45, and I have the Super Break Jan Sport bag. There you go. There's the video. But really, if you want to know why this is the awesome setup and the right way to travel is because, okay, right way to travel, whatever. My, right way to travel for me and maybe you. To only hear like how I failed like super miserably in the past. I had two major baggage fails in which has led me to this method. We'll call it the Addy method. And how I failed in the past was, I used to travel with an away large, which is, this is away medium, but so a little bit bigger version of this as my checked bag. <clears throat> I had a 45 liter carry-on. Yep, I had a 45 liter for my carry-on and then I had this pack safe 17 liter bag for my personal item. And I hated every second of that setup. I can't decide if that was my worst setup for the next one was, uh, but I hated it. I hated having two bags on my front and back. I was like a bag lady in the airport. I, my back hurt at 26. I was tired, I was sweating, I was like so stressed out and like I hated airports and like everything about how I was carrying my shit. And so, um, and the worst part is like I'm slightly germaphobic and so to go in the bathroom and like you like have to set your shit on the floor unless you're traveling with somebody and they can keep it out there on the floor, it's just a mess. So like two backpacks suck. So. That is why I despise the 45 liter, the 17 liter, and then the away large. Hate that method. The next thing I tried after that was, okay, I can't have all this weight on me. I must get a wheelie carry-on. That was the solution. It seemed like the right idea, right? Uh, wrong. So this is what happened. I have my away large, my away bigger carry-on. And if you're curious about like why I keep saying away, that's the brand. And if you're curious about the brand in particular, I have a video, I'll link it up here if you don't watch it. Knock your socks off. Okay, so I had the way large, I had the way bigger carry-on, and then I had still my little 17 liter pack safe backpack. Also, if you're curious about that little backpack, check it out here. I made a review about that. Really liked it overall, but 17 liters is too small. Cool. So I was traveling with those three bags and it was all fun and games for the most part until I had two moments that I just hated myself for the decisions I had made to use those bags in particular. The first was, I was in London, I was just a little American girl on this tube and I had three bags with me, and that's the first mistake. And the second mistake was having so many bags that I couldn't carry at once. And so I get to my stop on the tube and I have a bag that's like bigger than this. And the issue with that is like it was heavy, but it also was like more than half my body size. And so just like carrying it in general wasn't like that easy for me. Um, I, I needed longer arms. Uh, yeah, so I get off the tube, I walk to like the street, but it was like, not the street, it was two flights of stairs. And I was like, oh no. And it was like busy London. And I just had to like leave one of my bags at the bottom of the stairs. I like run up the stairs with one bag, leave it at the top of the stairs, start running back down the stairs to the, my other bag. Um, and then I go in to get that and bring it up. And I was like, that's really annoying. Never want to do that again. Hated every second of it. And then same sort of thing happened. Um, I was in Portugal and I was on cobblestone streets, which these wheels and cobblestone streets isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's like two rolly bags in cobblestone streets is the worst thing in the world. Plus when I got to my Airbnb, it's like old Europe, right? And like it is tiny, it's old. And so these hallways to get up to my, the staircase to get up to my apartment was so tiny and narrow that again, I'm having the issue of like trying to maneuver this like suitcase that's like too big for my body. And then also it's just like, leaving one bag on the street while I'm taking one bag up, coming back down for the other, and I just like hated every moment of that. And that's when I decided, wow, never again on that style. I have to figure out a way around this. And so I did, and I'm so happy with myself. So here it is. This is why these bags are so amazing. Let's start with the Away Medium really quick. 
The Away Medium, I love traveling with it. Just briefly on Away again, it's a brand. The reason I like Away is because they have a lifetime warranty. I do think they're quite durable. I've, I've traveled with it for over two years now and I haven't had any issues. I had a knockoff Away a while back and like the wheel broke off and I was stranded with like three-wheeled suitcase, which isn't fun. And so that hasn't happened to me with Away. I actually haven't heard of like anybody having trouble with their Away except one girl, her um, like compression strap broke, but they'll fix it and repair it for free. It's just a matter of like being in a country that they have a store. So you can kind of see it. You put this flap over and then you compress it. And the reason like that's really important for me is because I travel with a blanket and a pillow. The compression strap just helps like push any extra air out. I have like in a compression sack and it just like, fits okay and so I never thought I could uh, go to the way medium because I thought I had too much stuff and I wasn't sure if my pillow and blanket would fit but I have successfully gotten to the way medium I have also never overpacked it which is the other huge thing with the away large I'd get to the airport and I'd be like "Ooh, how many pounds am I over what am I gonna do about it and then the away medium I like go pretty confidently like Elle Woods like I know it's gonna fit I think I did go one pound over but I was like I had some books that I throw threw in there instead of like having them at carry-on so that was an easy fix I had to downsize my stuff a little bit but we don't need that much shit anyway so it's probably good for me and so it's it's a little bit smaller to my body size so I can maneuver it I don't pack it over 50 pounds which is really nice and yeah so that is the way medium I will keep that as my checked bag. Love it. Okay, next is this guy. This is the Osprey Sojourn 45. Love it. You might ask why you didn't want two backpacks to begin with. This is not just a backpack. This is a backpack, but it can convert into a wheelie bag. And a lot of people don't like the converting bags, but I adore it and I'll tell you why let me just open it up first so you can get the eyes on this butte there she is all green inside okay the reason why I adore this bag and why it is my solution to all my travel problems is I leave it mostly empty so that's an odd thing you might be thinking but the reason I leave it mostly empty I think I usually put like my yoga mat in there and then my speaker maybe a couple other random things but I usually have this packed full with my neck pillow and my foot rest for the plane and my computer and my book and my Kindle and a bunch of shit so then my sweater so this is usually packed pretty full but this is pretty much empty on purpose because I put this in here zipper up and then I wheel it around the airport and it is the greatest idea I've ever had if you see me in the airport you're like oh my god who was that girl she's looking cool crisp not sweating she's calm she's glowing she's happy yeah that's me because I have my little wheelie bag and I have my little fanny pack or my little purse and I have no weight on my back I'm not sweating and it is the greatest thing I've ever thought of 10 out of 10 would recommend so you might be thinking okay but if it's empty and you just have like a couple items in it anyway why not just ditch the bag and just use the personal item backpack as your second bag period and that's the answer to this is one when this is packed full it is freaking heavy like I don't know computers feel so light but when they're on your back why are they like 10 pounds heavier I don't know the answer to that but like every time I have this bag packed full it's freaking heavy and I usually have to put it down when I go places anyway because I'm just like eh, why does it hurt so that's one reason and the second reason is when I was traveling around one thing I did wish I had was a little um, weekender bag or week bag or something like that and so this is kind of taking that over so this depending on what I brought it's 24 liters I think I could get by with an overnight but I don't know about like two or three overnights I mean I'm not that good at packing so I don't think I could so that's why I have this bag so I'm essentially traveling with it to help carry a few little extra things but in the case of a weekend trip. So I'm actually in Croatia right now, I'm going to Dubrovnik this weekend. I'm not sure if I can pack this or not, maybe, but if not, I will have this. And so that's only one overnight, so that's not that exciting, but that is why I have this, so I can do a little one week trip, two week trip, and then have a home base somewhere where like this would live. And that is the main purpose of this bag. And that is 
my very, very exciting what to pack. Yeah, that's the spiel. That's the spiel. Wow, that, that was great. If you're wondering how I traveled for two and a half years, I did a program called Remote Year, and it was about a year long, and I have a ton of videos on my channel if you're curious to hear more about that. If you are here because you're a remote year wanderer, a remote year creeper, researcher, whatever you want to call it, I have a link for you below. And if you sign up using my link, you get $100 to use towards the marketplace when you join Remote Year. I also have a link for $20 off your away bag. It's still active, we'll find out. I'll link all my bags below. Not sponsored by anybody, but maybe someday I will be because these reviews are fire. So yeah, if you have any questions about traveling, random stuff, long-term traveling, packing, hit me up. Drop some comments below, hit me up on Instagram, send me an email, I'm just kidding, don't do that. Uh, yeah, so anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my lovely channel that's coming out of hibernation, subscribe because there's more videos to come and you might as well hit the like button because this video rocked. See you next time.